We're in um, the site of Welland Chemical, which is a city-owned uh, contaminated site. It's a, it's a registered brown, what are they, Brownsfield? Um, it's this easy to come in and out of, and our kids use this as a play area. They do uh, paintball and other things. It's also been used for criminal activities. Um, we're going to walk in here in a second, so you're going to have to watch where you're going. This is uh, a pond that is used by wildlife for water. And you really have to watch how you're walking in here. You can see how well the path is in, right? And you're going to love this. This is the best thing they ever did for us. Get the goldfish. You, you worded it exactly right. They put goldfish in here. I have embarrassed them so much with this pond. This is a contaminated pond. There's more like this. Um, one day we came here and all of a sudden there's goldfish in here. What they didn't realize was with me was a world-renowned biologist who said it's a rubber-lined tailings pond. Do they expect us to believe the goldfish just magically appeared because it's a healthy environment? These will die. We'll come back in a while, and they'll be dead a week from now, and they'll put more in. They just do this stuff because it makes my job easy. So what, what do you think's in this pond? We don't know. We've never tested it. They won't let us test it. You know. So tell me about this company again. Well, Welling Chemical was uh, a, a chemicals company that is uh, here, and their employees went on strike. They were on strike for a couple of years, and uh, as they were doing that, the company didn't pay their taxes, and so the city uh, foreclosed on them for taxes. And when the company left, they just left. They took every, they didn't take anything up. They left all of their paperwork, the name plates, everything is in the plant that, that was ready to turn on and go back to work the next day. Um, a gentleman named Blaine Kennard passed on, and he was uh, that guy that everybody likes. And, and uh, when Blaine passed on, um, the employees of the plant, who were no longer employees of the plant, told his wife that they would be willing to testify, they'd be willing to document everything about what's buried here, what's around here, what the plant has done here. and. Uh, we're just awaiting that opportunity. You know, the, the, the city uh, won't clean this up. We've approached them several times, and, and their strategy for this is this. If, if you are a developer and you come in and purchase this land as a Brownsfield, they will uh, reimburse you through incentives and tax breaks uh, for the cost of the cleanup. Now, if the cost of the cleanup is $100 million, what developer is going to walk in here and say, okay. So the city won't clean it. Grace Industries, the parent company of Welling Chemical, won't clean it. It's going to sit here forever like this and just continue to contaminate the soil. And where is this in relation to your reserve? Completely surrounded by my reserve, like a donut hole. This, we're not on reserve land they say. And down the road I saw a landfill also. Mm -hmm. That is off reserve. So you have, you have a landfill off reserve. You're surrounded by how many chemical companies? 63 companies. 63 companies. And in the middle of here, of your reserve, you have an abandoned chemical site. Right. How can you win? One day at a time, one fight at a time. Choose the fights. Let them do stuff like put goldfish in a tailing pond. Because they thought this was a good decision. <laughs> it's a healthy infrastructure, you know? It's got goldfish in it. Don't worry about it. I can see the rubber liner right here. Yeah. Wouldn't you like to take that goldfish and cut it open and see what's inside it? 
but the deer come in this is our problem the deer come in here they drink this stuff um, they wander off into the reserve we shoot the deer uh, and the deer ends up at our, at our dinner table what are we eating the ministry comes back to us with a statement of uh, well if the deer have white spot on the liver don't eat it and my friend Ada Lockridge came up with the perfect question for that what if we shot the deer the day before the white spots were to appear is the deer good then instead of finding ways to solve the problems they find ways to define the risk it's like the ducks flying the frozen pond in the sky right yeah um, anyways th this is the story of well and chemical and these are, are things that make my job easy <laughs>